the top three exercises to relieve back pain when you've been sitting at a desk. Coming up next. With so many people working from home these days, there's sitting at a desk, but there's also sitting at the table, sitting on the couch, sitting in bed, working on your laptop, working on your device. And the fact is that so many people are stuck in a tuck. Now you're in the low back liberation playlist and this whole playlist video by video, I'm going to break down how to get out of low back pain. And this video is essential. If you spend a lot of time sitting, when you sit for a long period of time, most people sit a little too far back and get stuck in a tuck or they're working like this, right? You got to sit up and sit up tall. Now the posture video is a whole other thing. And I'll put a link in the description to how to sit well, but at, at, at some point, no matter how well you are sitting, you have to move. And there are key areas in the body that get stuck and tight and just more sticky then leading to that thickness in the thoracolumbar fascia. And I did a whole talk on thoracolumbar fascia and back pain. I'll put a link in that video as well to that video as well, because I trust you'll find that very, very informative and helpful. So what do you do when you have to sit for periods of time? What are the key areas that must be lengthened and opened and hydrated so that that thoracolumbar fascia and your back don't get stuck in pain. So the top three things to do are to lengthen the hamstrings, lengthen and open the belly and strengthen the back. So first thing to lengthen the hamstrings, you can start by just stepping a foot forward. You can scoot forward on your chair, stretch one leg out in front of you. You could bend that knee a little bit, press your heel into the floor, get really long and tall in your spine and bow forward. You want to not do this, right? We're not rounding. That's just going to put a lot more pull and compression in that thoracolumbar fascia and in the low back, nice and tall, reach forward from the sternum till you feel a nice little stretch back here in the hamstrings. Take a couple of breaths, press the heel into the floor, just a little bit, just give a little bit of action to those tissues. And then you're going to come up, bend the knee, bring the other foot out, press the heel into the floor, sit up tall, tilt the pelvis forward and bow forward. Why do we engage this foot? Why do we want to engage the muscles we're stretching? Two reasons. One is if you just start pulling on a muscle that has trigger points in it, those trigger points are going to get activated. They're going to get freaked out <laughs> and they're going to activate more pain. Secondly, when a muscle has been sitting for a long period of time and it gets weaker, it's fascial wrapper, it's fascial bag gets thinner and weaker and it can tear. So we want to just keep a little activation of that heel reaching through the chest and then come up. So that's one way to do the hamstrings. Now I'm going to show you a standing version of stretching your hamstrings. Turn around, face your chair, step back from your chair, and you want to start by just getting them moving a little bit. Get those tissues hydrated a little. Bend and straighten the knees, get them hydrated. And then you could keep your hands here, bend the knees a little, tilt your pelvis to roll your butt up and back and bow in just to where it's comfortable for you. Now, if you don't need the chair and you can bring your hands to the floor, that's great too. Little micro bend in the knees is just fine. You can straighten the knees if that's easy for you, but you want to feel the stretch more up in the hamstrings and not just at the back of the knee. So if you're feeling that stretch in the back of the knee, you want to bend the knee a little bit and think about reaching your buttocks up and back, bowing in, take a breath walk yourself up. So that's stretching the hamstrings two different ways. Now you want to open the belly. Well, this is great. You can just use your chair, lay back on your chair, 
reach your arms back behind you. Ah, stretch, open your belly. Big breaths in the belly. Ah. Then to come up, place your hands on the chair and lean a little weight in the chair to lean yourself forward. So it's one way to open the belly. Got to get that belly open to remove too much tuck out of the pelvis, which is a main cause of chronic low back pain. Now I'm going to stand and I'm going to show you how to open the belly more and also how to strengthen the back. Another way to open the belly is to stand at the wall and just bring your arms up and out to the side and do a little back bend, just a little arch, little back bend. <sighs> Opening up that belly tissue <sighs> and relax. Now bend the knees, take your elbows to the wall. Now we're going to strengthen those back muscles. Walk those feet away from the wall a little bit. Press the elbows into the wall, arch the back strongly using the elbows to push the back away from the wall. Take a big breath and exhale, relax. We're going to do that strengthening two more times. This is also opening the belly. Elbows into the wall, arch the back, big arch and exhale and release. One more time. Elbows into the wall, arch. <sighs> Great. Strengthening the back is important when you have back pain because as I said in that thoracolumbar fascia video, which link is in the description, when we are rounded forward and the back muscles get weak or just get weak from sitting all the time, those back muscles get weak, what ends up happening is their fascial bags get thin. Every muscle is wrapped in a layer of fascia. We call it a fascial bag. When that bag gets thin because a muscle is weak, that bag is more prone to tear, which leads to inflammation and pain. You must get up every once in a while and do some back strengthening to keep those fascial bags strong and healthy. You've got to open up the belly. You've got to open up the hamstrings when you've been sitting for long periods of time. Try this a little bit each day, a couple times throughout your day. Open up the hamstrings, open up the belly, strengthen the back, and then drop a comment and let me know how that helped you. I'm Kat Matlock here in Asheville for Free Body, and you are in the Low Back Liberation playlist. Like, subscribe, do all the things. I'll see you in the next video.